Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits, otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller. Don't worry, ma'am, I am from the internet, and being from the internet, uh, I was blown away. I think a lot of people were absolutely blown away when the Canadian government actually managed to hold, halt, or um, just give a lot of problems to the crypto community because of what was going on with the truckers. Now, the truckers didn't like the mask mandates, didn't like the COVID, a lot of conspiracy theorists. A lot of people just wanting their freedom, etc., so on and so forth. I'm not talking about that. What I want to talk about is the fact that the Canadian government actually managed to stop cryptocurrency from moving directly to these individuals, which is freaking crazy. I mean, it's like one of those situations where your dad gets so angry that no matter what barrier you put in front of your door, dad's getting in. You know you piss dad off when he does stuff like this. Of course, the truckers tried to uh, use regular means first. Their bank accounts got uh, frozen. And then, geez, just the fact that crypto started getting frozen is just freaking amazing that the Canadian government would actually try and uh, maybe manage to pull it off. I gotta say, I do have uh, a little bit of respect in truckers for actually being able to break down and accept a new form of technology because a lot of the times truckers are individuals who uh, they don't embrace technology, they like, uh, they like the old way better. Now, having said that, I absolutely uh, detest anybody shutting down roads for any reason whatsoever. And to me, if you shut down roads and uh, you haven't pulled a permit for it, it's basically domestic terrorism. But at the same time, eh, it kind of seems like some of their freedoms were taken from them, which sucks. But unfortunately, we're in a really shitty situation with this COVID stuff, bringing us to the reason why I'm making this video. Got an email from Coinbase, my guys. Dear customer, starting April 4th, Coinbase will introduce some changes required by the Canadian regulations. Specifically, when you send crypto to another financial entity or money service business, such as another cryptocurrency exchange, and the transaction is 1,000 Canadian or more, we are legally required to ask you for your information about uh, the recipient of that transaction, their name and their address. Man, wow, I should have seen this coming. So I'm 90% sure that Coinbase wasn't actually pinched in this ice road truckers, or sorry, these uh, Canadian truckers protests, but it looks like the Canadian government's finally getting to them now. I honestly never thought that the Canadian government would be able to touch Bitcoin just as much as I never thought that uh, a trucking community would ever try to figure out how to use it. I almost want to say, truckers, this is the reason that we can't have nice things, but at the same time, crypto was created so that we could get around stuff like this, and if we're trading crypto to crypto, we're still okay, and the government probably wouldn't be able to see or understand anything, but if we want to cash out, that seems to be where the problem lies. You know, I almost think they would have gotten away with it if they weren't so mouthy about the way that they were doing it. But uh, everyone is making podcasts, and within at least one of these podcasts, I'm having difficulties finding it right now. Uh, someone actually came up to a trucker who was live and gave them an envelope and said, this is, uh, this is this much Bitcoin is the information on how you can cash it out. I really think if they would have just STFU, they might have been able to get away with it, and none of us would be having these problems we're having now. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm definitely not for and definitely not against uh, the ice road truckers, these uh, Canadian truckers, because it kind of sucks, but during uh, this emergency we had, we all have had some amount of freedom taken away from us, but for the value of the rest, for the value of safety of everyone, and geez, who was that guy that said that if you give away your freedom for safety, you don't need you don't deserve either of them and i remember when the uh, afghan iraq wars were happening that line got thrown around a lot so there's a lot to be said about this situation but what i'm blown away at is the fact that the canadian government can get their hands into crypto so much and the fact that they're looking at crypto means it is a viable uh solution for money-based problems i think this is good for crypto and i think i'm gonna get my lambo crypto to the moon well, that's pretty much it for me, folks. Not from Nev's Tech Bits. Don't block roads. You don't know who is on the other end of your blockade. You don't know who needs to get to the hospital. And I've had personal experiences where if anyone had held me up, my, people within my family would be dead right now. And that's my daughter. And uh, I don't appreciate anyone who holds any roads up anywhere.
don't do it. Anyways, that's it for me, folks. Have a good one. Take care of each other.